me. Uh, I'm an aunt. Do we have any ants around Ghost here tonight? Yeah. 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 I love one. That is by far the better alternative, personally. Uh, and also, I just love it because the best part about being an aunt is when your nephew or niece reaches two years and two months old. Because you can make a two year and two month old say anything. <laughs> like, they don't have the dexterity to say what you want, though. That's the fun. It's like English roulette. <laughs> you know, I tried to get my middle nephew, when he was that age, to say, I'll have split pea soup with ham, which by his reckoning turned into, Suck it, John Ham! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is so much better. <laughs> or, like, my youngest nephew's about that age now, and he's so polite. But every time he says cheers, it just comes out as Jews! <laughs> <laughs> he has blonde hair and blue hide. We need to dip that butt down. <laughs> um, also, a little bit about me, like uh, Tony said, I, I grew up in Seattle. Fuck Portland. I grew up in Seattle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then, then I, but I lived in Canada and Vancouver for, for about four years. Um, so we go across back and forth between the countries frequently. Uh, I want to pull all of you. Have any of you guys ever come across a border guard so good looking that you all of a sudden get the urge to be like, I'm a terrorist, mate! <laughs> <laughs> flirting with a border guard while they're on the job is like if you flirt bad you never have to see them again but if you flirt really bad you have a boyfriend now <laughs> I, uh, I was coming back from vancouver recently uh and i came across this border agent upon entering the u.s that was so handsome that i forgot all of my answers to his questions <laughs> like basic ones like he asked me what were you doing in canada and i was just like <laughs> like that's not even a joke. I looked him in the eye and made that noise. <laughs> and then I was like, I don't know, like human trafficking probably. <laughs> and then he asked me if I had alcohol or tobacco. I said no, and he let me into America. <laughs> that man is terrible at his job. <laughs> Like, I almost wanted to turn back and be like, are you sure? <laughs> uh, but I was so, like, so shocked that as I kept driving, like, in the back of my mind, though, I was like, you know, like, you can still go back there. <laughs> you can get the return to Canada line. Like, Canadian border guard. He'll be like, why the fuck are you here? You were just here, you idiot. And I'll be like, it's for love, sir. And he'll be like, come on in. Then you go the return to America line. Wait an entire in betweeners soundtrack albums worth in that line. <laughs> then get to the American border guard, and he's like, you know, like, well, I'm in Canada, and you're like, oh, the weekend. And he's like, because your passport says an hour. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't. I just kept <gasps> driving through nowhere. Uh, but like, in the back of my mind, he could have been the one. Like, he could have been the one, but not. But he could have. <laughs> He could have been the one, but we'll never know because I didn't have the balls to be like, there's heroin in the back! <laughs> I would have stopped him. That's how you know you're not a romantic, though. Like, if you're not willing to plant drugs on the back of your car, or at least lie about it, like, you don't believe them. <laughs> uh, also, um, do we have any dog people here tonight? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Yes, we do. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm, I'm a dog. Like I'm definitely a dog person. Like I have on my lock screen and my wallpaper of my phone. They're both pictures of dogs, neither of which belong to me. <laughs> but the thing with dog people is that like you either spend three thousand pounds on this beautiful purebred that can trace its lineage back to Louis the Third because you're a pretentious douchebag, or you spend like two cents on this three-legged thirteen-year-old butt dying of cancer. And then if you're from where I'm from. You you get this little sticker, and it's a paw print, and it says, Who Saved Who on it, and you slap that on the back of your back of your hair. Because you're a self-righteous douchebag. And like, first off, it's Who Saved Whom. I've never curtsied for a joke before. <laughs> yeah, so that's it. I, uh, also, I'm, I'm, this is my last show, this is my last night in Bristol. I've, I've had a great time. Everyone feels so nice. I'm doing good. Like, I'm, well, 
I'm doing I'm doing pretty good. I um <laughs> earlier today a seagull did shit on me. <laughs> but other than that, like it, that's a, if you've never been shat on by a bird, it is a jarring experience. <laughs> it is humbling. Well, actually, it's, it's just scary at first. I thought someone like a builder a dump sludge on me, uh, and then I turn around. It's just crap. But um, the humbling part is then. Well, first off, I thought the blitzkrieg was over, but like the <laughs> going and then having to ask the coffee shop barista and be like, I swear I will buy something from you after I use your toilet. But first, please, may I use your toilet? Because I've just been shat on by a flying raccoon. <laughs> and then if she, like, she was cool with it, but I was really worried I would have to ask for proof, and then the health code inspector would be like, you're all done. <laughs> uh, anyways. Um, <laughs> also, speaking of animals I do not like, um, snakes can suck my dick. <laughs> I, I'm not afraid of them, to clarify. I just don't like how they make all of their carnivores look bad. Because, like, if you're going to be the apex predator, bitch, learn to chew. <laughs> Grow arms. <laughs> Molars, what are you doing? <laughs> It would be like if you watch Muhammad Ali KO some guy, and you're like, wow, Muhammad Ali is so good. And then you watch the same guy get KO'd by an amputee. Oh, <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> like, it's snakes when you, like, they make Tiger look like such a loser. Like, no, no uppercut, no nothing. Like, snakes are all core. <laughs> Like, <laughs> think, about, think about all the problems humanity would solve if we all had the abs of snakes. Like, I'm not saying America would have won Vietnam if our army was a bunch of Burmese pythons, but two things. One, we could have done any worse. <laughs> Yeah, you made me laugh and that ruined that punchline, but I don't care. <laughs> I'm like, like, here's the thing, like, if we all had abs like that, no one would die in horror movies when they trip and fall. They would just fall over and then instead of getting murdered because they're useless on the ground, would just be like... <laughs> <laughs> like Michael Myers is just like, boy, all they're done! <laughs> I, I like to think I would survive a war movie, but I wouldn't unless I was Jack right here. <laughs> I would, you know, anyways. Uh, <laughs> uh, also, do you guys think this is the um, second stupidest sentence of the next two sentences you're about to hear? <laughs> but do you think if snakes had dating profiles that they would take mirror bathroom selfies? <laughs> like, considering how Jack they are, right? <laughs> it would be a waste. You know what I'm talking about, right? Where, like, the guy would, like, pull up his shirt and be like, you know, like... <laughs> More fuck. <laughs> um, yes, I'm very intellectual. <laughs> Um, also, this is this is very important. Do you think when snakes eat something that's bigger, like a deer, they get to the say the start of the leg or whatever, and then they get to the body, which is much bigger? Do you ever think they're just lying there, like? 